my specialty is molecular pathology and medicine. The pandemic was used as a false repretext by the WHO to drive vaccinations of all peoples in the world. A plan was set up to shorten the time to develop vaccines, which usually takes longer than 10 years to less than one year, Operation Warp Speed. This operation was used to cover up the misconcept of the genetic vaccines under the pretext of saving time. An extremely dangerous method was selected, that is, intramuscular injection of viral genes to produce toxic spice proteins directly in human tissues to stimulate immune system. Because this is a completely new method and misconcept method that has never applied before in human history. It is impossible, therefore, for most of doctors to give proper informed consent. However, due to irresponsible government and media campaigns to promote vaccines, 80% of the Japanese has been vaccinated, unfortunately. Seven shots have been done so far. This is the most and worst in the world, and the result was the induction of the terrible drug-induced injury that has never seen in human history. I believe that the fraudulent use of experimental gene therapy to healthy peoples, particularly to healthy children is an extreme violation of human rights. However, Keizo Takemi, Japanese Minister of Health, Labor and Welfare, has been insisting that there is no serious concern about the injury caused by genetic vaccines and without running from the current situation of injured patients, they plan to construct a new vaccine production system in preparation for the next pandemic. This is an unbelievable, crazy situation. The Japanese government is the first in the world to approve a new type of vaccine called self-replication replicon vaccine and plans to start to supply it in this fall and winter. The Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry is providing a huge amount of subsidies for this project and the factories to produce new vaccines are being built one after another in Japan. I visited these factories directly. Furthermore, the Japanese government is currently soliciting large-scale clinical trials worth $900 million from pharmaceutical companies that are taking on the challenge of developing vaccines to prepare for the next pandemic by Disease X proposed during the Davos conference this year. It is speculated that the movement by the Japanese government is part of CEPI, Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations, 100 Days Mission, which aims to shorten the time to one third of Operation Warp Speed. Namely, they are trying to shorten the vaccine business cycle by developing a vaccine in 100 days. This is possible only by ignoring the human right perspective. Amendments to the WHO's International Health Regulation, IHR, 
and the so-called pandemic treaty, which are about to be adopted at the 77th World Health Assembly this year, are attempting to give rationality and legal binding force to such unscientific and dangerous crazy plans. If such things continue, there is a high risk that Japan-made vaccine will be exported under the guise for false trust. If Japan were to become a bear perpetrator, it would leave irreparable harm to future generations. Therefore, the actions of the Japanese government must be stopped by international collaborations. Although it has already been three years since I started to give lectures to educate Japanese people about the dangers of vaccines, it is still difficult to penetrate through the sound barriers of mainstream media. If we tell the truth about vaccines on YouTube, it is deleted within a day. The, delay, the, uh, the reality is that we are facing censorship and speech suppression almost every day. Therefore, I put my hope in the publication of a book, which is the last version of speech, and published a book with a title, Withdrawn from WHO. It is difficult to stop this movement because it is now politically hopeless to change the situation of the Japanese government. The message I would like to cover, convey to the world is that when disease X occurs in the future, you should never trust the Japan-made vaccine that was developed in a short period of time in order to protect human rights in cases of control that transcend national boundaries. I believe that sharing the truth and countries is so important and that this is a step towards unity and solidarity. Only through the process of information exchange between all countries in the world we can find hope in the midst of despair. I do hope that my statement will help all of you to protect your healthy life and your family. Thank you very much for your attention.